Okay, this is Richard Hobbs. <coughs> this is a uh, right on. This is uh, and yours church, gmail.com. And more and yours church at gmail.com. Copyright nine, uh, 2019 by uh, Reverend Richard Paul Hobbs at gmail.com. <coughs> On Monday coming, <coughs> this is the 27th of March. <coughs> On Monday coming is when we're going to begin running an exploratory campaign to see whether a poor person who um, believes in Jesus can uh, become president of the United States and uh, do things the way he thinks God would have us do things. Now, you spell Jesus, J-E-S-U-S. -S. So the U-S is the part of Jesus. And you know history, we'll talk about it in the future, but history is about many things. The Bible's about Jesus. If you read the Bible and you don't see Jesus, you don't know the truth. History is about Jesus. If you read history and you don't see Jesus, you don't know the truth. Satan is a liar. The word Satan means liar. Now, I'm a liar, but I'm not Satan. No, I'm sorry. Satan means enemy. Satan means our enemy, God's enemy. But Satan is God's enemy because Satan is a liar. He's the father of liars. Now, Satan must be my father because I'm a liar. Are you a liar? Well, if you're not a liar, then I can't have anything to do with you because liars are separated from non-liars. God is not a liar. I don't, know any, any, I don't know who's a liar, who's not a liar. The only thing I know for sure is that I'm a liar. And if you're my friend, uh, you have to accept me as a liar? No, no. I'm, it's wrong to lie. It's wrong to lie. I am wrong. Jesus never lied. I don't know that for sure because I wasn't around every time Jesus was around. But I believe Jesus did not lie. If he lied, then I believe a lie. But I already am a liar. I already believe lots of lies. If there's one lie I'm going to believe and be happy to believe it, it's that Jesus never told a lie. But you believe the other lies. You believe the lies you want to believe. But you are separated from God. I'm separated from God, which is why I lie. And my lying just helps me to understand I'm separated from God. Jesus, Adam and Eve were in the Garden of Eden, fellowship with God through Jesus. He called them the tree of life. There was Adam in the garden, Eve in the garden, Jesus in the garden, the liar, the, the enemy of God, Satan was in the garden, and God the Creator was in the garden. And God the Creator fellowship with humankind through Jesus. God created everything. Well, first he spoke. And when he spoke, that was Jesus. Jesus was, is the voice of God. Jesus is when God speaks. Jesus is the image of God. Jesus is how God is represented to humans and to the created things. And God is not seen by human eyes. Or if, I don't know. I, 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 there's a lot of things I don't know. There's only one thing I know, and that's that I'm a liar. If you're a liar, come to our church, the one that we have, a bunch of liars who are going to end the disease called yours, if God allows us to do that. And if God doesn't let us to do it, we're going to do it anyway. Because God isn't going to keep us from ending the, the disease yours. The only one who's going to keep us from ending the disease yours is Satan, God's enemy, and our enemy. So we're going to find out what's going on for real. Because <clears throat> the reason I want to be president of the United States is so we can end the disease yours. The second reason I want to be president of the United States is so that everyone who wants to worship Jesus as God in this country can. And anyone who doesn't want to worship Jesus as God in this country can worship the way they want. But the ones who are worshiping Jesus as God are going to help each other the way Jesus teaches us to do it. And the rest of you, you come yourself, you want to do it the way you think it should be done. But we're going to be separated. 
Those of us who are liars, who are saved by Jesus, are going to be in our kingdom. And you people who are not liars, who are not saved by Jesus, you can be in your kingdom. Each of you can have your own kingdom. Our kingdom is the kingdom of Jesus, where I'm the least important person. And everyone in there is the least important person. That's Jesus' kingdom. And we're going to be in little groups, five or eight or ten people. And if I'm in a group with eight people, 12 people maybe at the most, maybe 50 people, I will see. I'm going to be the least important person. I'm going to be the one with bad teeth. I'm going to be the poorest person. I'll be the poorest person. I don't want to have a lot of money. I want you to have a lot of money. But a lot of money doesn't do you any good. If everyone has a lot of money, then the money is worthless. So we're going to try to follow Milton Friedman's ideas and Thomas Sowell and Walter Williams and other conservatives who seem to have a better idea, understanding of economics than uh, the, the Satan has. And we're going to understand that God has answers. All the answers are found in Jesus. That's why we end Jesus with U.S. And the United States is where God is allowing the world to see Jesus in action, working for a while. Maybe he will fail because we won't do it exactly the way it should be done. But before we let Satan come in here and take over and be in charge again, we're going to take over and we're going to be in charge. And if you want to be an atheist, go be an atheist. But the United States, USA, is not atheist. We won't kill you for being an atheist. But you're not going to kill us for believing in US, us, Jesus. And if you think you are, we won't let you kill us and we won't kill you. Because Jesus doesn't want us to kill anyone. And you're not an atheist. You just are resisting the grace of God. And everybody in this country, including me, we're resisting the grace of God. That's why we have problems. We have to stop resisting the grace of God and allow the grace of God to flow. But then the people in charge can't be stealing and, and giving to other people. We've got to have stop the cannibalism. We've got to stop the killing of babies inside their mother's wombs. If you want to kill a baby in, your mother's, in the mother's room, you go someplace where they want to do that. But you're not going to do that here. And those of you who've killed the babies in the mother's womb and stood up for it, if you don't repent, and I mean really, really repent, then we're going to give you Satan who you're worshiping and let Satan do as Satan pleases with you. Because we're not going to be pleased to do anything with you. We're pleased for you to worship Jesus or not worship Jesus. But you aren't going to worship Satan in this country. And now, those of us, of you who think you know Jesus and you're going to tell everyone what to do. Well, you're not going to do that either because I'm not going to tell you what to do. But you're not going to tell me what to do. And that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to have socialism. You're trying to have the government be in charge of my life. Well, that's not in Jesus' kingdom. In Jesus' kingdom, we're in charge of the government. And the government serves us. So if you want to be in the government, you better be like me and be willing to be the poorest and to be the biggest servant. Because that's what you're going to be. Because if you're working in the government and you have power and you're in charge, whenever something goes wrong, you're going to be held accountable. We will make you pay for doing things wrong. And if you don't want to be in the government, fine. Are you going to smoke cigarettes? then you go to another country and smoke cigarettes because we're not going to smoke cigarettes here. You're going to get drunk with alcohol, you do it in another country because we're not going to drink alcohol here. Maybe there's only be a few of us here, but that's what we're going to do. Alcohol and cars don't mix. You either drink alcohol or you have cars. And you don't have to have cars. So we'll, we'll work this out. But we're not going to have people riding around in cars with alcohol and high with hot and then they're killing people. Those people work for Satan, they don't work for Jesus. Now dear Jesus, I'm a liar and I deserve to go to hell. And you're not a liar and you died. So God could be punish someone for me being a liar and then God could accept me as a not a liar. But God's not a liar so God can't say I'm not a liar. But God has the ability to forget something. Well, no, yes, I don't know. But behind God's back, the Bible says there's a sea of forgetfulness. 
So God took all of my lies and all of my wrongdoing and God threw it behind God's back. That's the God I worship. And I worship him through Jesus. And you can't have sex with a man. And you can't have sex with a woman. You can only have sex with the wife that God made for you or the husband that God made for you. There's going to be three people there. You, God, and the other person. Three. Right now, there's three people when you have sex. You, the other person, and Satan, who's God's enemy, who's your enemy. And he's stealing from you and killing you and lying and cheating and ding, and then you're all confused. So Jesus is light, and he came to give us light. And Jesus is freedom, he came to give us freedom. But not freedom to go out and do wrong, freedom to do what is right. And there's a lot of things that are right. You can eat a pear, you can eat a peach, you can eat a pump, you can eat grass, you can eat grass, but you can eat leaves of lots of plants, and some plants you can eat the leaves. But you can eat lots of green leafy vegetables. That's healthy, that's good. There's so many things good that we can do. But instead you want to do things that are not good. And you cannot be doing that and be in Jesus' kingdom unless you admit you're a liar and that you deserve to go to hell. Do you want to go to hell? Then go live with the people who want to go to hell. In this country, everybody acts like they're a Christian and they worship Satan. They're Hindus worshiping Satan and the things they do and calling him Jesus. Well, that's a lie. Satan is not Jesus. And self and self is right. positive, positive, positive. Well, do I learn something about positive and negative and electricity? You should learn something about it. I'm a liar. Are you a liar? Now let us, all of us liars, get together and let us take over this country. Let's all admit we're liars. And then we're not going to have the news media lying to us. We're going to talk to each other in small groups and we're going to know what's going on. And we're going to put the people in charge that are, that are liars, who know they're liars, who aren't going to lie when they're in charge. And if they do, they're going to know they're going to be held accountable for lying. So as big of a liar as I am, I can say, well, I'm a liar, but I'm not going to lie here and now. I'm going to stop lying. I could do that. Because if I don't do that, I'm going to be held accountable. And then you'll take the things from me that I have. And I won't have anything. But since I don't want anything to start with, that's good. I, I certainly don't want to be in charge of whether you live or die. I want let Jesus be in charge of that. But there's a lot of things we can do to limit who's dying. There's a lot of things we can do to limit disease. There's a lot of things we can do. There's things we don't know about yet, but God knows about them. Jesus knows about them, but Satan doesn't. And we're going to worship Jesus. J-E-S. U.S. Us. Us. But us doesn't mean us and you all help me. Us means us and I'm going to help all of you. And each of you have to help everyone else. Each of you. Because if you're not helping everyone else, you're not going to be in our kingdom. You're going to be in the other kingdom. You're welcome to be in the kingdom where everyone puts themselves first and others second and uh, Jesus last. Yog. Yaj. Y-O-J. This kingdom, Jesus praise him and worship and inhabit the praise of God. Others second, others, others, yourself third, that's joy, J-O-Y. Jesus, others, yourself. And no one's going to come around and uh, tell us what to do and take a lot of money for doing it. And then things are carrying out wrong and we're not going to hold them accountable. We're going to hold you accountable. And you can hold us accountable. Everybody's going to be their own lawyer. Everyone's going to be their own priest. Everyone's going to be their own everything. But in our kingdom, we're going to put others first. Jesus first, others second, yourself third. In your kingdom, you can do it any way you want. But you're not going to be part of our kingdom. And we won't help you. We're going to help our, us. Us. If you want to be part of us, then you put Jesus first, others second, yourself third. Do it from real inside your heart. It's very hard to do. So we'll help you. I can't put myself first. I mean, I can't put Jesus first, others second, myself third. My nature is against that. So I need your help to do it. I'm telling you what you need to do, and then you need to tell me what to do. I'm not better than you are. I'm not more important than you are. You're more important than I am.
and we have a group of eight people or ten people, we're going to put each of us the others first. And we won't be the most important person. We'll be the least important person. And we have a thousand groups of eight, that's 8,000 people. We have 10,000 groups, that's 80,000 people. So we'll make it 12. So that's one point. Uh, there's a million, a thousand groups of, of 12 people, that's 12,000. There's a thousand groups, that's 12 million. There's a thousand of those groups, that's 12 billion. All groups putting everyone else first. And then those people that got three dollars, I'll take three of my dollars and give it to the one that got three dollars. And I'll have three dollars less and I'll have double their income. And the person who has yours will get them penicillins. I don't have it anymore. That's what we're going to do. That's what Jesus is going to do. Satan isn't going to come here and rule this world. But I'll tell you, right now, Satan is flying around in helicopters and airplanes and with lasers. Well, that's going to stop, because whoever's running those lasers, whoever's running that ship, I'm going to cut their hands off and let them, be somebody, let them feed themselves without hands. Well, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to do what's right, and we're going to have others do what's right. And those who are in charge are going to do what's wrong and have others do what's wrong, then they're not going to be in charge. And they're going to pay. The people here came in here and they're ruling over me, they're going to pay. At least they're going to be brought in front of a judge and told to answer why they did that. And when I die, I'm going to tell God why I did wrong. When you die, you're going to tell God why you did wrong. But I'm not going to die. Because Jesus says, if I believe in Jesus, I won't die. Well, Enoch didn't die, and Elijah didn't die. But they believed in Jesus. That's what I read in the Bible. Why you read the Bible different? Well, go ahead, read it different. You better read it again. Instead of reading it for yourself, you better ask God. Because God's not going to tell me it means one thing and tell you it means something else. Because God doesn't think I'm better than you or you're better than me. God thinks that Jesus is better than all of us, but Jesus is the greatest servant. And then each of us should be the second greatest servant. If everybody is the second greatest servant, now we got something that seems like it might work. And it probably won't work, but Jesus will come and Jesus will reign. He will be the king of kings because Caesar was the king of kings. The president's the king of kings. The Congress is the king of kings. The Supreme Court are the king of kings. But you know, any one of us can get a gun and shoot the Supreme Court. That's why we have guns. Not so we can go hunting, not so that we can kill each other, but so when the thieves and the crooks are in the Supreme Court and the, and the Congress and the judges, we can get guns and we can go shoot them. That's how come we have guns. That's why you have a gun here, so that you can kill the people who are serving Satan and trying to act like they're serving God. That's what this country is about. Us, Jesus, us, U.S., Jerusalem, USA, right in the middle of it. And Mr. Trump, five times in the Bible, it says Mr. Trump's going to be president of the United States. Fifty times it says it. The story is there repeatedly. But poor Mr. Trump, he doesn't understand when he dies he's going to go to hell because he's proud. And you can't be a Christian and be proud. You got to be humble. Because Jesus was the head and he was the most humble. So I have to be the most humble. So now be humble. And stop saying you're proud because that's the name of him. Say you're honored and happy and good and so glad to see people do well. Say godly words and godly phrases instead of Satan's phrases. But thank you Jesus for Mr. Trump. Thank you Jesus that you didn't destroy the devil but you put him in hell. I don't want to go with him to hell. Thank you Jesus.